good day this is de la cruz engineering video tutorial and our lecture for today is about fluid mechanics the analysis on gravity dams okay and the specific topics natin dito is we will derive formulas calculate the maximum and minimum pressure bearing pressure with uh, in between the dam and the ground then calculating the factor of safety Again, sliding and overturning. Okay, without further ado, let's start to solve a problem muna. Assuming that the concrete dam shown weighs 23.6 kN per cubic meter, the coefficient of static friction, it is denoted as mu, is 0.23, and the intensity of the hydrostatic uplift varies from 20% of full hydrostatic pressure at heel to zero at the toe. Calculate the minimum and maximum pressure on the soil where the dam rests and the factor of safety against sliding and overturning. So, what's the first step dito? So, unang-unang gagawin talaga is to expose the forces involved. Okay? So, Uunahin natin yung water. Okay. Yun. So, the pressure of the water varies as the height increases. Kaya, yung pressure diagram natin dito will be triangular. Okay. As the height increases, the pressure will be increases also. Okay. Therefore, the pressure at this point is just gamma water times height. That is 4 meters. Okay. So, 9.81 times 4 meters. That will be 39.24. And this um, triangular diagram, triangular pressure diagram, will create a resultant force. Okay? So, that is called the hydrostatic force. Okay? So, actually, my formula dito, but we will use the basic, we will use the pressure diagram. Okay? And another force here is the weight of concrete. Okay? So, hahatiin natin yung concrete. Oh, by the way, this is 4 meters, diba? That is 6 minus 2. Then, hahatiin natin yung concrete into two um, known polygons. We have the triangle and we have the rectangle. And the weight of concrete, tawagin natin itong weight 1. And of course, dito rin weight 2. That point. And also, we need to account the water that is um, projected above this the concrete here. Look at this. So, ang projected water dito, because the water above here will, will, will be accounted talaga, okay? Kasi tutulong iyan sa uh, stability ng dam. Okay, may water dyan. Tawagin natin weight 3. That is the weight of the water that is projected here, okay? And it is also stated here, the intensity of the hydrostatic uplift, may uplift siya. So, ano ba yung uplift? Uplift is just the buoyancy lang. Okay? So, but here, um, parang nag-penetrate yung water dito sa ground kasi natin. At tapos, i-uplift siya dyan. Okay? But that is in the geotechnical engineering topic na. Okay? We will not talk it here. Okay? Ang sinabi dito, varies uplift from 20% of the full hydrostatic pressure at heel to zero at the toe. So, ano ba yung heel at toe dito? Okay? Um, look at this. Imagine i sapatos. Okay? Imagine yung sapatos. Tapos pag naglalakad yung isang tao, di ba dito yan iikot about the toe. Okay? And dito yung uh, ito yung heel. Okay? Now, imagine the dam. Um, because of this hydrostatic force, it will rotate about this point. Uh, um, may possibility na mag-overturn sa dito about this point. Therefore, the point of rotation, yan yung toe natin. Okay? And yung mag a flip is yung heel. Yun. I hope klarong-klaro yung logic sa inyo. Okay? Therefore, sinabi dito, the hydrostatic uplift lift varies from 20% of the full hydrostatic pressure at the heel. So, this is the heel to zero at dito. Therefore, the hydrostatic pressure dito is triangular. Okay? 20% dito up to 0 and this is just 20% of 30 39.24 okay i mean 20% uh, multiply this by 0.2 so that is 7.85 kilopascal okay 
ang displeasure diagram dito, mag-recreate ng uplift pressure. Tawagin na lang nating FU, force uplift. Okay? Now, we will define the forces here. Okay, unahin natin yung weight 1. So, weight 1 is just the diba, formula for weight, gamma, volume. So, gamma of the concrete times... This, this must be weight 2. Nauna ko yung weight 2. Okay? Gamma of the concrete, 23.6 times 2 times 5 times the perpendicular length dito. Okay? We are assuming 1 meter strip on analyzing a dam. Okay? May 1 dito. Kaya 236 kilonewtons. Actually, this is one, ha? Um, W2. Nabaligtad ko, but the same man lang. Now, ito na yung W1. So, W1... Um, gamma of concrete pa rin, times the volume. So, this area here is triangle man. So, one half of base that is 4 times 5 pa rin, times 1. The same lang yung weight nila. Okay? So, hindi ito magmamatter na. Now, the W3 naman. Okay. We must get this first, this um, distance here. That is just by ratio and proportion. This is to 4 is equals to 4 is to 5. Okay, we, we can solve this. Okay? I hope this is very easy lang sa inyo, ha? That is ratio and proportion lang. So, the weight here is just gamma of the water times this volume. Okay. 9.81, 1 half, this is triangle, times base 3.2, times height na 4, then times 1 perpendicular sa screen natin. Ayun. Then, the hydrostatic pressure naman, hydrostatic force. That is just the same. That is um, triangular. So, 1 half of base 39.24 times height na 4 meters times 1 perpendicular to the length. Okay? The same pa rin dito. Area lang. A volume. So, 1 half of base 6. This is whole 6 times height na 7.85 times 1. So, these are the forces involved dito. Okay? Now, we will... Eliminate unnecessary things. Okay, this is the forces involved. Okay, sinabsitute na natin yung mga forces. Okay, now, what's the next step? Okay, um, imagine magkakaroon ito ng, this, uh, I mean, um, reaction force dito sa iba ba. And let's call that RY. Okay, the reaction of the ground. Okay, and that RY can be solved by summation of forces vertical. Okay. So, involve your the vertical forces here. That is just Ry plus 23.55 minus 236 minus 236 minus 62.78. Okay? All forces vertical. Okay? Now, we can solve this Ry here. Now, the next step is to locate the, lo is to locate the Ry from the toe. Okay? The horizontal distance. And that is... Uh, by the way, we will calculate muna the... Uh, no? The overturning moment, this one. So, ano ba yung overturning moment? From the word overturn, yung moment na magpapa-overturn sa ating dam. Okay? In this manner. I-overturn niya dito. And that is just, the OM is just um, this force times distance dito. Okay? By the way, this is 1.33. Okay? This is a triangular pressure. So, that is just, the centroid here will be acting one-thirds of the 4, okay? 1 third of the 4. And also this, this is triangular. So, this is 2 thirds of this whole length dito that is 6 meters man lang, okay? 2, I 4 and 2. So, 2 thirds of 6 that is 4, okay? So, dito yung 1 third, basta triangle, okay? Doon sa uh, malaking pressure. This is from static, ha? dapat alam nyo to. So, the overturning moment here is just 78.48 times 1.33 about the toe um, plus 23.55. Okay, that will rotate clockwise 23.55 times 4. Yan yung overturning moment. Um, don't include this because that is a reaction man. That is not an external force. So, the overturning moment here is ito. 198.558. Then, we will calculate the resisting moment or the stability moment. O, oh, ano yung stability moment? Yung magpapastable sa ating dam. Okay? So, what are the forces that will 
make our dam to be unstable. This vertical forces the gravity loads. Okay? And that is just the moment about the toe. So let's calculate the distances muna. This distance here, take note, this is a triangular. This is a triangle. So from this up to this distance, that is just one third of the 3.2. Okay? This up to this. Now this distance here is 6. Okay? Total distance is 6, that is 4 and 2. So therefore, this distance here is just 6 minus 1 third of 3.2. Okay? Klaro lang. So, that will be 4.93. Now, this distance here naman. Okay? Take note, this is also a triangle. So, the distance here up to this, that is 1 third of 4. Okay? Plus 2. So, the distance is 3.33. And dito naman, that is a rectangle, that will be the half of 2 lang or 1 meters. Okay? Now, we can calculate the RM that will be stabilizing this or ikakontra yung overturning moment. So, that will be 62.78 times 4.93 plus 23, uh, 236 times 3.33 plus 236 times 1. Ayun. So, that is the writing moment. Okay? Inom ng tubig ha. Now, we are to locate this resultant, I mean the reaction Y na. Locating it from the toe. So, let's call that as barred X. That is the um, common notation, no? the barred X, the location of the reaction to the toe. So, how can we solve this? Okay, ganito yan. Uh, disregard those forces na lang. Ito na yung mga re uh, resultant forces yung ang gagamitin natin. Tignan nyo. Masusolve tong barred X by taking moment about the toe. Summation of moment about the toe, that is just Rx, Ry times X plus OM minus RM. Okay? Ry that will cause rotation clockwise plus clockwise rotation OM minus RM. Okay? And that's why we <coughs> see this formula on the book. Okay? Rm minus OM, OM over Ry. So, if we substitute these values here, Rm, OM, and Ry, we got this x. 2.22 meters. Okay. So, that is very essential in solving dumb problems to locate the barred x. Now, also, we are to locate the eccentricity. Eccentricity is measured from the center of the base or the neutral axis to the location of the force. So, ito yan. If this is the center of this length or the base, this is just, tawagin natin itong B over 2 and B over 2. Okay? Ito yung mga notation sa dams problems para hindi na kayo malito. The eccentricity here is measured from this point, from this distance, from the center. Okay? So, that is just B over 2 minus barred X yung E natin. Okay? Now, let's, let's substitute. Ano ba yung B natin? That is whole distance here. That is 6 meters. So, if we substitute that, that will be 0.78 meters. Okay. So, let's summarize. So, ito yung nakuha natin. Okay? Ito na lang yung ititira kong force kasi ito yung magagamit natin dito. Okay? The others are can be neglected na. The vertical forces. Okay. After na makuha na ito. Okay. Now, we are to calculate the pressure. Maximum and minimum pressure. Oh, there are two cases here. Ito yun. If E is lesser than B over 6, we can use this formula to compute the maximum and minimum pressure. Okay. When E naman exceeds or equals to B over 6, we can calculate the Q max lang. That is negative 2RY over 3 barred XL. Okay? Uh, so, i-derive natin ito pagkatapos ng problem na ito. So, these are the formulas. When this happens, walang minimum pressure. When this happens man, may minimum at may maximum. Okay? Papakita natin to. Now, checking our E here, that is 0 0.78. And checking the B over 6, that is just 6 over 6. Our B here is 6. That is 1, and that is lesser, meaning we are in this case 1. Okay? Now, to calculate the 
maximum and minimum minimum pressure here i will show you in the calculator na lang okay and yun i substitute mo lang itong formula so i will let, let the, this as a variable let's say variable y ito yung ry ano yung l yung l is just 1 meters okay perpendicular sa ating um dam sa ating screen perpendicular okay so what that is 1 so b Diretso ko na lang ha, 1 yung L natin. And quantity, 1, and plus muna. Plus um, 6E. Ano yung E? Um, 0.78. Lagay ko ha, yung E is 0.78 times 6. Binilagtad yun lang. 0.78 times 6 divided by B. So, I let this as variables para madali na lang. Hindi mahaba yung isulat. Yun. So, calc. Calc. Then, our y here is 511.23. Our b here is 6. And that will give us this maximum pressure. Okay? Pag plus yan, maximum. Anyway, makikita mo yung maximum. I-plus mo, ano minus Okay? That is, so, the 1, the minimum, is i-minus mo lang ito. Minus. Okay? And that is 18.7451. Okay? Klaro lang? Okay, summarizing, ito yung Q at the heel and the Q at the toe. The maximum, uh, the minimum will be at the heel always pag sa dam. Okay, dito. Because mag-overturn nga patunga, uh, pat, pat, papuntang clockwise rotation. Okay, and the pressure at the toe will be the maximum pressure. Okay, I hope this is clear. So that is the answer for the pressure. How about the factor of safety? Factor of safety, again sliding muna tayo. So, take note, we will be having a frictional resistance dito. And this is the, uh, gagamitin natin yung maximum available friction. Okay? So, from the statics, the maximum available friction is just mu times the normal reaction, which is the normal reaction here is the RY. Okay? So, this is the maximum available friction. This is not the actual friction, ha? Okay. Now, to solve the factor of safety, we will equate this sliding force, yung force na magpapaslide sa ating dam, equate natin yun sa resisting um, friction. Okay? That is just summation of forces horizontal. But we will multiply this by the factor of safety against sliding. Okay, tingnan nyo. Um, 78.48 times Fs is equals to the frictional resistance, maximum available friction. So, as you can see here, is ang sinasabi ng factor of safety is just how much times na palalakihin mo yung sliding force, yung force na magpapaslide, hanggang umabot tayo sa maximum available friction. That is the logic here. Or, um, how much time is your uh, maximum available friction greater than the magpapaslide sa, uh, magpapaslide sa dam? That is the logic. Pa parang sinasabi niya, dapat mas malaki talaga yung um, resisting force para hindi talaga siya mag-slide. Okay? So, by that, ito yung makikita natin. Okay? The factor of safety, we will cross-multiply this. Mu, 0.23 times Ry. So, we have this divided by the force, the sliding force. Okay? Kaya ito yung um, tinira kong force dito. Nineglect yung iba kasi hindi na magagamit. So, that is 3.45. And this should be um, greater always to 1.0. Okay? Because if this happens na uh, equals to 1.0, meaning yung force na magpapaslide and the maximum available resistance is equal lang. Okay? So, that will be in the, mo uh, in, the uh, in the merge of moving na. Malapit nang mag-move yung dam natin. That is very critical. Okay? So, the factor of safety must be always to 1.0. Okay? At least 1. But that should not be lesser than 1. Okay? Now, the factor of safety against overturning naman. So, the same logic here. The overturning moment, let's equate the overturning moment and the writing moment. But we have to multiply this by factor of safety against overturning. Okay? So, it just simply says again that how many times na palalakihin yung overturning moment hanggang umabot siya sa resisting or the stability moment. 
the same logic lang. Okay, that's why nakikita natin sa books that is RM over OM yung formula. Okay, because if we'll cross multiply this, magiging RM over OM yan. Okay, so by here we solve the factor of safety. Yun, 6.7 and that is very, very safe. Okay, so much greater than 1.0. Okay, so these are the cases on how to solve dam problems. Okay, so by this, we will derive those formulas. Okay, those pressure formula. Saan ba yun galing? Okay, look at this. Okay, so in 3D, makikita natin pag ganito. Okay, now, um, the part of the dam here that will be in contact to the ground is this. And by the way, this is the length, this is the B, and ito yung 1 meters na sinasabi natin perpendicular dito. Okay, this is the 1 meters. And the pressure that will be in contact, I mean the face that will be in contact on the ground is ito, of course. Okay, and assuming this is the neutral axis, okay, and our RY here can be put at the center, at the centroid. Uh, take note, we have eccentricity here, okay. But because of that eccentricity, pag nilagay natin ito sa centroid, i-account natin yung moment. There will be a moment here. Okay? That is just Ry times E. Okay? Pag nilagay natin ito sa centroid, dapat i-account natin yung eccentricity. Ry times E, that is the moment. Okay? Yun. If you are facing, uh, if you are to consider um, immediately above the ground, a moment will be in clockwise rotation. That will be countered counter by this for by this moment here if we are to look um, immediately below yung moment natin is counterclockwise okay action reaction lang but mas magandang dito natin tingnan para mas may imagine yung mamaya yung animation natin okay again this is just ry times e okay now the pressure at this um at this area will be is just force ry divided by area let's Okay, I take note, this is the neutral axis where the um, gagamitin natin neutral axis is the axis of rotation dito yun magro-rotate. Okay, again, this pressure here, that is just Ry force divided by area that is L times B. Okay, now take note, we have moment here, so we, we need to account the bending stress formula or the flexural stress. Okay, ano yun? For rectangular sections, okay, for dams, rectangular sections yung ginagamit natin. For rectangular section, the formula for bending stress, the maximum bending stress is 6m over bd squared. Okay? I hope that is ano, anang basic na sa inyo. Okay? That is from the strength of materials. 6m over bd squared. But we ha take note, if moment, the bending moment will create tension and compression stresses okay? or pressure. Therefore, we can say that that is just plus or minus um negative 6m over bd squared nilagay ko lang yung negative dito no or kahit wala negative na okay 6 then our m here is ry times e okay that is the moment about the neutral axis okay that um we will not use the overturning or the writing moment dito ha the definition of the moment of the bending stress formula is the moment about the neutral axis yon okay that is why 6m ry e over LB squared. And ang E squared natin sa formula na BD squared is yung um, distance na parallel sa moment natin. Our moment will be in this direction. So, dapat yung parallel sa moment mo ang E is squared. Kaya yung B ang nag-squared dito. Okay? I hope um, clear ito sa inyo ha? Kasi may ibang nalilito dito. Ano yung E squared sa formula? Okay. Now, by um factor fa factoring out the ry over lb we can factor it out dito that's why ito yung formula na makikita natin sa books okay ayun and this is just can be used when e is lesser than b over 6 lang okay so this this is the maximum and the minim minimum pressure here um if you are to draw the pressure diagram dito ito yung mangyayari the minimum and the maximum pressure okay the maximum will be at the toe, the minimum will be at the heel. Okay. Now, bakit ba may limitation ito? B over 6. Tingnan nyo. 
if we will to draw or to see the case where this minimum pressure will be just zero lang, tingnan nyo, okay? Our E here will be greater than, okay? Will be greater than dyan. And if you are to calculate our E here, that is just bar x minus uh, B over 2 minus bar x. Now take note our bar x here for triangular section that is one third of the total of base. Okay, and that's we got B over 6 dito. Okay? So, ito yun. Kaya may limitation back because if mag lumagpas na yung E mo dito, uh, mas tataas pa, meaning wala nang pressure at this point. Okay? So, this formula is yung, kuan lang, this combined stresses formula is for um, mag is for the material that will resist tension. Ito, hindi naman ito mag-resist ng tension yung ground. Kaya may limitation siya. Okay. Now, what if um, mas lalaki pa yung, B, uh, yung E natin, yung actual E sa B over 6? Look what will happen. Ayun. Okay. Mas pinalakihan natin yung E. The more the E will be bigger, the more the moment will be bigger rin. Okay. Because moment is Ry times E. That is directly proportional. Okay. Now, exaggerating lang this, um, when the moment about the neutral axis is so much big, yung dam natin will be uplift here. Tingnan nyo dito. So, it is um, may appreciable deflection na siya pataas okay, because of the moment. So, this is just exaggerating. ha. So, this uh, distance here is the effective pressure na lang. Yung may, mayroong effective pressure. So, the distance here is wala na siyang pressure. Kaya yung formula natin, when E is greater than B over 6, is Q max na lang. Wala ng minimum. Okay? Now, how to derive the formula of Q max here? Okay, assuming this is B prime. Okay? From this distance up to this, that is B prime. Hindi na yun, hindi na siya yung total B. Okay, B prime. Now, this Ry here, we know that is the resultant of this pressure diagram. So, that is Ry is equals to one half of base. Our basis here is B prime. And height, that is Q max, times the L yung L natin dito. Okay? Now, look at this. Yung bar x natin dito is just one third of this B prime. Okay? Take note, this is a triangle. The, the, our bar x is one third of B prime. Uh, therefore, our B prime can be expressed an, into three bar x. Okay? Now, if we substitute our B prime here, that is three bar x, lalabas itong formula na to. 2Ry over three bar xl. Okay? So, negative ito for compression. Okay? Because soil only resists compression lang. Okay? So, that is the formula. Kaya may limitation ito. E must be greater than B over 6. Okay? So, pinakita ko yun kanina. Yun lang. So, I hope this is very clear presentation for you. And, please, if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, please do subscribe, like, and share this to your CE friends, yung mga disidido talagang matuto. Okay? So, thank you everyone and God bless and stay safe always.